Absolute values, I must be thinking of a different class. Absolute values are always positive because if we're talking about the distance we are from zero or a value is from zero. For example, and this is why there's no negatives, I wouldn't say something like, hey, I live negative 40 miles north of here, right? I would say something like, I live 40 miles south, 40 miles being positive. Or you want to say I live negative five miles east of here, which would be five miles west. Maybe you do talk like that, I don't know. So I hope I'm not insulting anyone. Uh, but when finding the absolute value of x, we just want to know what values of x would make it true. All right. So if we're looking at specific values without any operations, we're in pretty good shape. The negative and positive value make it true. Okay, that's good too. Like this one, right? What this is really asking, even though it's kind of a math nerdy way to say it. Well, let me read this first. Okay, this is this would be read the absolute value of x equals 53. What we really want to know is what values are 53 units away from zero. So, we, we kind of break this up, all right? We say that x is 53. Because if I replace x with 53, it's a true statement. The absolute value 53 is still a positive 53. But I also consider the negative here. Because the absolute value of negative 53 is still 53 units from 0. So we have two answers on this. x equals 53 and a negative 53. By the way, this method of me kind of showing some branches like that, I'll be using that for these. Not that you have to, but does that make sense? I mean, 